Oh, hey, folks, what's going on? Just taking a quick lunch break here out in Nebraska. Thought I'd check up on the latest farm sim news, see what's going on out there. <laughs> um, yeah, we still got some snow. Nebraska is full of snow. Not a big surprise at this time of year. We're minus one degree Celsius. Uh, we got more snow in the forecast. I mean, just look at the snow out there. Ugh, it looks cold, but we got to get out there, folks. We've got to get out and we got to do some plowing. I've been, I've been tooling around the, uh, just touring around the house here a little bit. Let me show you what I'm talking about. We'll open this on up. We'll close this back end. Keep the heat in the house, of course. Um, I've been shoveling away just out here. You can see I've shoveled the walk. Uh, we've gotten into our shed, of course, our garage over here. Wow, that Ford is dirty. I've got to give that thing a scrub. Uh, the Super Duty's in there. But I've been over here kind of just shoveling away. We shoveled around the house, trying to clean everything up as best as we can. And just in case anyone wants to come on the patio, if we get some nicer days, I don't, look at the forecast, I don't think we're gonna be out enjoying the patio anytime soon. But anyways, we got around the back, yeah, everything's looking good. So we've got a bunch of snow to get rid of today as well. Just need to clean up around uh, around the farm. It's the bigger, the big thing I wanna do now as well. I noticed uh, the DOT, they've got their graders still stuck on the road up there. And they haven't plowed my road out in front of my farm yet. Uh, I'm gonna go see if I can just take care of that. I don't know what the heck they're doing. But that's something I'm going to go help them with. I'm going to go see if I can get a, my repair truck out there. Get that thing fixed up for them. Oh, I need to spin this around. And uh, another problem I ran into. Well, you guys are aware. We've been harvesting out in the snow, actually. <laughs> just yes, last time. And we got all our harvesting done. So eh, now we're just kind of working, making sure we kind of survive the winter is the big thing. We've got to make sure our, our pigs are all good. And then, uh, yeah, that's really our big problem. We're just getting ready for spring. But... There's something that kind of happened when I was out harvesting. Now, I don't know, has Austin been by my farm the last few days? Have you guys seen Austin? Because something strange happened. Now, everything looks fine over here. This is all the roads we plowed. There's our 380. Looking good, looking good. Let me just stop this right here. And, um, well, this looks normal, but this is not. Somebody left my doors open. Like, all of the doors in the shop were open, and all this snow when we got this blizzard the other day blew into the shop. <laughs> Come on. Like, who does that? Come on, guys. you got to close the doors for me, at least, if you're coming out here. So, I've got to find a way to get all this snow out of here. Now, I've got a, a bit of an issue with that. All I've got, really, for pushing snow around is, well, the old Chev here with that blade on the front. Now, I can get a lot of that out, I think, with this, but I'm not going to get into the corners with it. Now, I've got the John Deere over there with the, uh, the 5 Series with that front end load, the front bucket. And I've also got, well, the front end loader, of course. So those two could help me right now, but I was hoping maybe like a bobcat might be the best way to get in here. Maybe, yeah, just put a plow on the front of a bobcat. I don't know if that's an option or not. I, I got to figure out if there's any other options we have to get that stuff out. Otherwise, I might be digging with the 5 Series. Eesh, this doesn't sound like a lot of fun. <laughs> that's going to be a lot of pushing snow around is what I'm looking at right now. Anyways, I'm going to jump in the truck here. I think we're going to start pushing snow. See if I can start pushing it out that far door. Anyway, let's get to work on this and then... Uh, clean this farm up and then head out help out with that grader let's get to work guys bitter patter clutch simulation all right so we moved the uh the front loader out of the way there now let's see if we can just kind of get this truck in the doors i just start pushing stuff <laughs> i don't know if this is going to work or not uh it should work it should be fine it's just it's not going to be the best way of doing this especially uh Oh, man, I need to get this straightened out. I feel like I'm going to have to Austin Powers this in here. It's just a... Oh, I hit a garbage can. I hit the garbage can. Darn it. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's straighten this thing out. It's so tough to, to judge your distances with that plow in the front. It's uh, it definitely... Oh, see, like, I just don't have the space to get in here. Oh, we're, we're through. Okay, good enough. Let's just drop this in and see what we can do here. I just want to push this. Oh, no. I'm into the wall. Into the wall. Okay, there we go. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. We don't, we're not in a rush. Just nice, slow, methodical work. And then push this through. Excellent. That looks good. That looks good. Oh, man. I can't believe how much snow we got in the shop. This is ridiculous. <laughs> I can't say I'm very happy about this. Perfect. All right. So from here, I wonder if I can get in this back corner and just kind of push it out from here. Like I said, I'm not going to be able to get right to the corner, of course, because, well, that's just the nature of what we're doing. Uh, I'll have to bring something with a bucket in maybe to get rid of that. Or, like I said, we could get a bobcat of some sort. Oh, let's back right up and push this way. Lift this up, lift the blade, come on. I don't want to hit my seed bags there. Just trying to watch that. Nice. All right, there we go. 
going to push it there for now. All right, good, good, good. Uh, back this on up again and see if I can push the next one over as well. Oh, man, what a pain. <laughs> There's no way. Uh, and back this right on up. Oh, perfect. And then forward again. So, I don't know. Was it Austin that came in here? I don't know if it was him. I, that's who I'm going to blame, I think. I think it must have been him. He's the only one that really had the keys for the place, right? Oh, darn it. And see, if you put the blade down, it kind of sticks in the grates there. you got to kind of watch out. I guess I could just crank the heat and kind of squeegee everything into the grates, but I don't want any uh, water getting into the seed bags or anything like that, so I do want to try and clean as much of this stuff up as I possibly can. Oh, and here comes the snow now, of course, as well. Uh, so we're just going to be cleaning this up just in time for uh, more to come, it looks like, into the farm. We better hurry up and get this done so we can go help out with that grater because he, uh, we're going to need it in town, I have a funny feeling. Oh, look at this. Okay. Cool. All right, get this one out here as well. We can just push this right on out now. Excellent. Love it. Okay. So we've got a couple more passes to make here, it looks like. I can just, I might have to do it the other way. I think I'm going to try and push as much as I can out those that door that I'm pushing to. Uh, and then from there, I'll spin it around and push out these, these front doors. Oh, man. Such a bit of a pain. A bit of a pain to try to maneuver this around inside the shop. <laughs> this truck is not really designed for tight turns, that's for sure. All right. There we go. And crank it over. And let's see if I can straighten this out. Oh, I hit the door. I hit the door. No, I hit the door. Ah, see, how much damage am I doing on my shop just by doing this? Perfect. Push that there. It's quite a bit of snow. Like, how much... There's quite a bit that got in here. I, this is, uh, surprising. One more pass, it looks like. We should be, uh, all but finished, at least. But not, I guess, not the whole, most biggest job in the world, but still, this is something we need to get done. Perfect. Oh, I need to lift this up. I don't have any traction. There we go. And last push. Oh, come on. Turn for me. Turn for me. You don't even want to. There we go. All the way out. Excellent. Awesome. I love it. Cool. All right. Let's take a quick look and see what we got out here. So we got most of it. Um, I'm going to need to get rid of this stuff here as well. Push the rest out these doors. And then uh, over here, uh, should we... You know what? I might just hand bomb this stuff. You know what? You know what? We'll, grab the, we'll just grab the 5 Series. It's fine. We'll get the bucket and we'll do it that way it's not the best, but it is what it is. It's a lot faster than me going to get a bobcat, even though I'd love, like to have a bobcat on the farm. But, uh, yeah, it's all right. We'll, we'll live with what we got, guys. I'll keep on... I'll keep working what we got with. Let's go get the 5 Series, and uh, we'll just kind of clean this stuff up as best as we can. Making some headway slowly through here. You can see we've got uh, a little bit of snow out of the way, at least. Let's see if I can get to start with this corner and get rid of this stuff here. I don't know if how much I'm going to be able to get rid of here or not. We'll see. Oh, oh, that's not bad, actually. Okay, a couple passes of this. We should be able to get rid of most of it, I think, with a couple buckets. I could have brought... Maybe the front end loader would be a little bit quicker. But it's so much more um, gangly. Is that the right word I'm looking for? I don't know. Gangly doesn't sound like the right word. Maybe cumbersome? Um, I don't know. Get rid of that. Nice. This way we could ship it out of the out of here as well. In fact, I'm probably going to have some snow banks. I'm going to want to move some snow at some point. So uh, just being kind of proactive with moving the snow the way we are here into the back of the truck. It's probably a, a, a good idea. Look at that. Nice. Awesome. Cool. Back this on out. Load her back in. Not bad. A little bit of work, but it could be worse. I mean, it's kind of like loading manure, right? I just wish it wasn't inside my shop. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I should go open his doors up. Oh, too far, too far, too far. There we go. Oh, just thought we were empty. Guess not, guess not, guess not. All right. So a couple more of these. We'll have the shop all cleaned out. And then, uh, you know what? I think we're going to have to hand bomb some of the snow out of here, it looks like. Not a lot. Let's grab right to the corner here. Nice. So we can get a couple more buckets here nice and close to... Uh, all the racks. Oh, come on. Doesn't want to grab. It's not grabbing for me. We're going to loosen this up just a touch. Try this again. Should just have to get in right in close. There we go. That's better. Just grab nice in around the racks just to get all the snow that's there. Like I said, I don't want this uh, 
getting close to my seed at all in the fertilizer that's over in the corner here. So we'll make sure we get rid of all that. And then I think, you know, we'll get this one corner. I think we'll be able to get a bucket out of that. But the rest, guys, I think we could probably hand bomb it. We'll get some shovels and just quickly do this. Shouldn't take us too much time to do that. A couple minutes, we'll be, uh, we'll be all wrapped up in there, which is not bad. Not bad at all. So from here, I just want to take the truck around quickly. I don't know. It feels like it's going to be almost a waste of time, to be honest, with the snow already coming out. Uh, whether we should clean this pot or clean in the farm up at all. I wonder how much snow we're supposed to get. I haven't checked the forecast, but if we get a couple inches of snow, that's going to be all for naught, isn't it? It feels like what happens every winter. He doesn't have shoveling and shoveling and shoveling, and uh, the next day it just snows again. Let's see what I can grab over here. Let's start at the corner. Oh. Grab right here. Nice. Go. Grab, 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 grab. Perfect. Oh, man. There's actually a little more there than I thought there was going to be. There's going to be a couple more bucketfuls. Cool. Well, I'm going to grab a couple of these, and then uh, from there, guys, let's go grab some hand, sh hand shovels, and we'll just kind of quickly clean this up. And then I'm going to clean this rest of this farm up before we head out. Sounds like that should work. All right, shop has been, for the most part, cleaned out. I got most of the snow out here, and what's left will either just kind of melt once we close these doors, or uh, we can quickly get a shovel and take care of them. Whoa, come on. Let's get this last little skiff right here. Maybe, maybe not. Nice, there we go, we can get it. So, um, I'm pretty happy with that. At least we're kind of back to normal there. I ran out of space in the, uh, the Chev. She's full. So I've just been piling up kind of a bit of a snowbank out in front of the shop here. I don't really have a better spot for it yet. I haven't really decided where we should be putting snow on this farm. I don't have a great place for it at all yet. Um, in fact, I don't know if... I mean, over by the field and in the behind us, I'm sure it'd be fine. There's quite a bit of room back there. But uh, for now, that can stay there. All right, 5 Series is in. Let's uh, oh, move some snow out of here and close this door. Oh, man, too much snow. There's too much snow in here. I can't close it. Oh, what a pain. That door is blocked open. Uh, we can close this at least, and I can close this one. Actually, we'll leave that one open for a second. I got to grab the, uh, the 380 there. Close that up. I don't know. The door's bunged open from the snow. I can't, <sighs> can't close the door. Door's locked open. Oh, well. We'll leave that for now. I'll figure that out. I'll get a shovel out and <laughs> shovel that snow out of the way. Put the 380 away as well. We don't need to have that out in the snow. Um, like I said, I just got to clear the rest of the snow out of the way now and uh, maybe make a bit of a path around our farm. Oh, man, it's just these snow banks. I need to get a snow blower or something. The snow banks are just ridiculous. Close this on up. Perfect. There we go. Excellent. All right, that looks good. Let's, uh, we can leave that open for a time being. We're going to come back and grab the front loader probably in a second. I got to fix this door still. And uh, let's plow some more roads around our shop here just to give us a bit more access. Don't know if there's really any reason for me to shovel this one out in the back here. We don't really go this way in the winter. There's nothing back here. But, you know what? Oh, man. I felt like I'm back here. I might as well just kind of give it a quick once over. I should be pushing the snow the other direction, though, I think. Push the, a bit of a bank right there. And then the rest, uh, I'm going to push towards the building. Uh, you know what? No, I won't. <laughs> just, just looking at it now, that doesn't make sense. We'll push it off to the right. Just a lot of snow. A lot of snow back this way right now, and it's just going to get so mucky. You know what? That's one of the better reasons about doing this is just it's going to get mucky come the spring. And uh, if we can kind of keep some paths where on trails we want to normally take, it's probably beneficial for us. I'm going to leave this here. Excellent. Straighten this out. And uh, that'll work. Perfect. I'm just going to push some snow back behind us. So we've got a path around the shop now at least. I should probably shovel out that back door as well. And then a little parking area up here as well it needs to be cleaned out. Not a big deal. Now the bigger problem I'm, I'm going to run into is on the far side, the newer side of the, of the farm. This is all the old side where we're doing most of our work because our pigs are right here, obviously. But uh, the far side, oh man, there's a little bit of snowbank right here, guys. The far side, it's, uh, it's I just haven't been over there using it. I don't have much storage right now in the winter. So I, don't, I haven't had a reason to go over there. And so the snowbanks or the snow has just been untouched for the most part. Oh, man, look at all this snow here. Oh, uh, and it's still coming down. Lovely. Cool. Last little pass. Good enough. We can get cars in here at least if anyone decides to stop at the shop. And we still have our roadway into our farm, which is wide open. I like it. Cool. Let's uh, run over to the far side. So this road down to the left is one of the ones I end up using quite a bit with larger pieces of equipment just because our gate's so bloody small. Uh, I want to plow this and make sure this has got 
somewhat of an access. Oh, man. I'm getting sucked into the dirt. Oh. This thing is not easy to drive. She wants to grab. She wants to grab up front pretty hard there. All right. Let's try this again. Whoa. Into the, into the silo almost. That's better. Okay. Just push this stuff all over to the left-hand side. Nice. Oh. Into my trailer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be denting the heck out of this front plow. This thing is going to be destroyed by the time I'm done with it today. There we go. That looks better. Excellent. Cool. And then just push this right up into the field here. That'll work. And then do the same thing on the way back. We'll get rid of as much of uh, this as we possibly can. And uh, hopefully, I don't have any problems over here anymore. Because I can get through. i got to move this cultivator out of here at some point as well. It's not in a really good spot. That was just left over from when we uh, finished off that last field. Look at this. So much snow. We're actually getting more right now. It's just crazy. All right, we'll finish that off. Excellent. Good enough. We can get in here. And then, uh, you know what, guys? I'm going to make a run over to the shop quickly. See if we can grab that service truck and give those guys a hand. Take a look at that. Uh, we'll take a look at that grader on the way by, though. See if there's something simple. Let's just figure out a spot. You know what? I'm just going to dump the snow down in this. We've got a big open little kind of yard area right here. I don't need to have snow right here. That's perfect. Let's dump it right there. That's totally fine. Back us up a bit more. A bit more, a bit more, a bit more. And then forward. Nice and easy. Oh, man. There's a lot more snow in here than I was thinking. Oh, oh don't want to get this thing stuck. Come on. <laughs> um, all right. There we go. Almost empty. Come on. Excellent. All right. We'll get rid of that. We'll leave that there. That's totally fine there. And the truck itself, I'd rather it didn't get snow all in the box. Can I fit it in this door right here? I think I can just kind of leave it inside. Otherwise, I'm going to come back to it. It's going to have a bunch of snow so that's snowing in here. And that's always tons of fun. Let's lift this all the way up. Blades up. And then back her on in. Hopefully, I can fit it in that tiny little door. We'll see. We'll see. She looks a little tight. I haven't measured this. Oh, man. Okay, that's good. Uh, the blade? The blade, however. <laughs> um, all right. Well, you know what? We're going to leave... Uh, oh, can I get past the stairs? Ah, good. We're going to leave that in like that for the time being. <laughs> it's not going to get snow inside the box, at least. <laughs> uh, we're going to be gone for a couple minutes. It won't be big, a big deal. We'll grab that. We're going to need it anyways <laughs> later on, so uh, I'm not too worried about it. Anyways, let's go take a look at this grader and see what the problem is and see if I can get this thing running for them. Ooh, the snow's a little deep on the uh, the backside over here. Look at this. Oh, man. That's some fresh pow right there. Oh, come on. Get her on out. Nice. Yeah, it's a little bit deep over there. <laughs> uh, interesting. It was. I wasn't expecting it to be down that deep in that section. I don't think we had that much snow, but I obviously haven't been through there before. Uh, out onto the main roadway here. Let's see if we can find this grader. Like I said, I plowed this yesterday. I still have not been by, and there's no traffic moving anywhere. But the plow is sitting right there, right at the end of our driveway, essentially. So uh, let's go stop off and take a look inside this thing and see what the problem is. I just can't believe they they stopped dead here. Like, this is it? This, and then, <laughs> and if we get it off the road, the blinkers are dead, it looks like. Oh, no, the battery's dead in it now, too. I'm just going to see if I can, you know what? Our truck can handle this. Let's go. We'll pull into the field here. Nice. Leave that running. All right, let's uh, take a look. Let's open. Oh, which side will be best on? You know what? We can open this side right here. Battery's on the left, it looks like, on this one here. Let me just open this up. Yep, keys are still in it, but the battery's toast. And you know what? It looks like it's just a belt. They just bro broke, broke a belt. Um, I've got a whole schwack load back at the farm. We'll quickly grab a couple. Grab a new battery for this thing. We'll swap it out, and maybe I can just get it running right now. We'll get this thing out of here. Ugh, I wouldn't mind just plowing this road up, to be honest. Let's get this thing done. Let's quickly run over there. All right, we've got five different size belts. Uh, just look like would be similar to the one that was broken down there. Let's take a look. We'll fire these in there, change this battery out, and get this thing hopefully back on the road. All right, battery installed truck is uh the, the uh the belt is installed the battery is installed we should be able to get this going i want the truth let's fire it up oh she fires nice well hopefully it stays running let's get some lights on so we can see a little bit more here the snow is starting to come down pretty hard <laughs> all right i just want to plow 
kind of up to this front road, up to our, our farm. And I'll turn this thing back around. We'll go park it back at the Dollar General there and uh, leave it for them. Let's see here. Put this in gear. Blades are all down, it looks like. Nice and easy. We'll just take it nice and easy. I don't want to blow anything on this thing. Look at that. Nice. Perfect. I like that. That's a lot easier than uh, shoveling out our garage like we were just doing for the last 20 minutes. Oh, man. This is so much easier. Love it. Cool. So we'll just get down to the shop here. You know what? I'm going to spin around. There's another range road right at the very end of our farm. I'm going to spin around down there and then head on back. And then we'll go park this thing for them. At least uh, our road is plowed then. If they need a hand. They can call us. But I'm, this, is, this is what I wanted to get done. This is ridiculous. I, didn't, I kept on coming out here. And like, look at the snow that's still in front of my, my shop here. I couldn't even get my Mac out if I wanted to. I've got, winter, I've got summer tires on that thing. Those highway tires are not great out here right now with snow-covered roads. Spun around. Heading back west. I think it's west towards town here. Uh, there's our pig farm right there. Look at all our pigs out in the snow. Oh, it looks like it'd be cold. It looks like it'd be so cold. <laughs> do you think pigs get cold in the winter? I don't know. Do they? They must. Anyways, that's going to do it for us today. Uh, thanks again for watching, guys. And uh, yeah, if you, know, you know what to do. If you like this video, drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe. I mean, you're here to the end. Why not finish subscribing right now? Let's do it right now. And other than that, I will chat with you guys next time from Nebraska. This is Clutch, over and out.